I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. God bless everybody. Y'all just uh, bear with me in this video. I have, you know, lost my voice, but I feel good this morning. The Lord woke me up. I'm on top of the ground and not under the ground. Kind of lost my voice this weekend, but that's not going to stop me from doing this video. And as my title says, a lot of people, they love mess. They cheer on mess. A lot of people cheer on mess. Misery loves company. And I want to give a shout out to my girl, Quinn. I was wondering who else was going to ask me about that video about the uh, bishop that laid on top of the two men. But I'm not doing this video to dwell on that. What I want to talk about in this video is how people sit up and cheer on mess every Sunday. And uh, to answer your question, uh, the bishop who laid on top of the two men, I don't know if a lot of y'all have seen it on her YouTube family. Uh, he covered them up. You know, he was ordaining two other bishops, and he laid on top of them. And if you are familiar with the Roman Catholic then you'll feel me in this video because that's what they did in a lot of their ceremonies. If you ever studied the Roman Catholics, you'll see how a lot of them leaders would lay on top of men. Some of this stuff we see now, we see so many man-made traditions. We see where religion is a big problem. Now, your question to me, should that even be allowed in the church? My opinion, sister, no. It shouldn't even be allowed in the church. This is why I pray for the leaders. I pray for all this stuff that I see going on. And, uh, but I'm not a fool leader. And I don't agree with half of the stuff that I see. But we see now it's um, a lot of leaders, a lot of them, are doing things, you know, against the word of God. You know, it's like I say, people cheer on homosexuality every Sunday. The music style right now in half of the churches are nothing but homosexuals. And people cheer it on every week. They clapping, all sing, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And God don't even engage in sin. You know what I'm saying? We see women with women in the church. People cheer on mess. They um, cheer on these bootleg preachers who call themselves to preach. They ain't talking about nothing that's got to do with heaven. The problem is, sister, people really want to be entertained at church now. And like I say, forgive me once again, I know it's kind of hard to hear me because I've lost my voice, but people love to be entertained. And it just goes to show you how the church has become. But Jesus told us that these days was coming. And as a matter of fact, look at a lot of the musicians. Um, a lot of them are not anointed at all. We got musicians battling over who is the best pre, over who is the best musician, who who play the drums the best, who play the keyboard the best, who sing the best. We see preachers versus preachers. We see the time that we are living in, so we know what time it is. And I'm not shocked at none of this stuff that I see. But like I say, people cheer on mess every Sunday, and when they ain't in church. They, they engage in this go this gossip and, and stuff that we see people still have cliques in the church. I mean, just look at, look at how many people get involved in their little so-called cliques. And then we see all the jealousy. We see all the envy. We see all the fussing. So what do you think the lost people are going to continue to do? How can the blind lead the blind? People just like on her, you got a lot of people messy on her. But when you speak truth, a lot of people got a problem with you. Let me say something. <laughs> Holy Spirit just gave me this. How can you test the Spirit by the Spirit if you are not in the Holy Spirit? You see what I'm saying? The Bible teaches us try the Spirit by the Spirit. Now, we know it's the Holy Spirit, but then we see a lot of other evil spirits out here. But how are you going to test it if you are not in Christ? Mm. God Almighty, let the church say amen. I can get this Bible right here. 
and, and, and start telling lies and get a million people to follow me just that quick. I can mess up their minds with all kind of lies. And I would get more people to follow me telling a lie than I would telling the truth. First of all, I don't want nobody following me. I'm just saying that for an example. This is what we see people doing. They following mankind. They're not following God. I could get a bunch of people to tag along with me telling lies. Hmm. And that's what Satan does. He blinds the minds of the unbelievers. But look like now he's blinding the minds of the believers. Look at how many people following Satan. And then look at how many people are actually following God. When Satan was cast down, he took a third of heaven with him. Now, let me say that right. They volunteered on their own to follow Satan. What gets me about nowadays is that I see so many people, they'll pretty much do anything for a title. Anything for a position. Just like we see people in the world, they'll do anything for money, you know, even if it takes selling their soul. And we see in the church, same thing. Got a lot of people doing whatever for a title. And God is not a respected person. That's why I say, my sister, people, they go to church on mess every Sunday. And then what gets me, some of them go home and complain about it. But come that following Sunday, they're going to be right back in that same church cheering it on, agreeing with it. Every time I cut on the computer, it's another bishop done done something. It's another leader done fell down over something stupid. Mm. So really, we see a lot of people just wasting time. That's why I say I'm not going to make the video talking about the bishop now, whether he was gay and all that stuff. I don't care less. He got to take that up with him and God if he is. My point is, people sit up and they brainwash and they let other people dictate their life, dictate how much Holy Spirit they got in them. If people would quit trying, quit trying to imp impress others, you know what they're going to learn in this life? If they don't never learn, I'm sorry for them, but you can never satisfy people. They're going to always have a problem with you. When you're doing bad, somebody got a problem with you. When you're doing good, somebody got a problem with you. Matter of fact, when you speak more truth, most people have a problem with you. Same thing, the problem they had with Jesus. Jesus got killed for the truth. Stephen got stoned for the truth. Paul got beat up for the truth. Paul got thrown in the prison for the truth. I can go on and on and on. John the Baptist, we saw what they did to John the Baptist for the truth. We got people who don't want to hear the truth. And it brings me back to what my big brother, Mini Man, said the other day. Why are we going to church? Very powerful. Why are we going to church? Now, I'm going to close with this. I will say this. Because you asked me about being ordained, man. It, even when I was um, going through the training of becoming a deacon. Laying people on the floor, let me say this. There is no way, no way, any man is going to make JT lie down on the floor, face first, with my butt up, and then he's going to lay on top of me? Oh, no. Hell, no. See, that's not even biblical to me. I ain't never read where Jesus laid on top of a man, but <laughs> and now we see where we got all these traditions, man-made traditions, and religion once again. Each religion look like they got something different. That's why I don't follow religion. I have a personal, true relationship with the Lord. I don't care whether you're Baptist, Pentecostal, AME, Church of God and Christ, none of them. I don't care about all this stuff. I know who I am in the Lord. So with that being said, I don't follow man-made traditions. And I don't follow man, period. I follow Christ. Once upon a time in the Bible it said, 
Somebody said, follow me as I follow Christ. I wonder who said that in the Bible. Y'all know who said that. So with that being said, people love to cheer on mess. Same mess, same people, same church, no growth. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.